Hi, uh, this is Profit Show. My name is Max Ishinka, and my guest today is Herti Tamo. He's the lead investor behind Startup Wise Guys, uh, which is an accelerated program here in Tallinn, Estonia. We are in Tallinn today. And uh, besides Wise Guy, he is also uh, president of Estonian Startup Club and uh, an angel investor of his own. Right? Yeah. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, I'm nice glad to you. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> glad to have you here. And first, can you please explain? Like to up to to our visitors, like more about your background and like what's your occupation now and what you've been doing all these years. It's just a great brief story. Okay. Yeah, I am an entrepreneur since 1995. We have a old economy family-owned companies, quite big already, maybe 150 employees, and we are growing quite rapidly still after uh, more than more than 15 years mm -hmm. and um, after that I have established a couple of uh, IT companies here in Estonia and uh, I am angel investor since 2007 we have invested with my partner to one uh, Latvian company mm -hmm. and right now we have done many investments in Estonia and, uh, and we'll keep on doing it uh, okay so well, the the, mest, uh, the main the main reason we are doing this interview is uh, Startup Wise Guys, which is a uh, uh, first accelerator program in Estonia, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. How, how do you describe it? Mm -hmm. What it is? Uh, it's an uh, accelerator program, uh -huh. uh, thirteen weeks. You should, it's very intensive. You should come to our office here in Tallinn, and then we will help you to build your business. We will give you 5,000 euros per founder mm -hmm. and one founder is not enough for us. You should have two or three founders at least. And um, we will bring uh, really great mentors from UK and from Estonia, Latvia, Finland, mm -hmm. around, around here. And, and we will help you to build your business and uh, raise money as well. Our goal is that more than 50% of the companies should raise extra new round after this uh, program. Mm -hmm. uh, when you when you graduate, you, we help you to find investors here in, in Tallinn, and also we take companies to to London uh, Investor Day, and some of the best ones can go to Silicon Valley as well during the program. Okay, okay. So well, when I first uh, found out about this. Uh, program. Well, my first reaction, and I and probably others like, why the world needs yet another accelerator program? I mean, it looks like there are dozens of zones, and they keep popping up. So, what's what's the the point? What's your like big uh, advantage? Advantage? Yeah, I agree. There is quite many of them already, but I think there is always room for one uh, great one. And, uh, and my partner, John Bradford from uh, UK, he has done uh, four programs, similar programs uh, in, in UK. One of the most well known, I think, is Springport. Mm -hmm. And um, he has a vision that uh, in Europe there will be four and um, three most active places for startups. One is London, one is Berlin, and one is Tallinn here in Estonia. Mm -hmm. And actually, and Finland. Um, yeah, Finland is active, but we would like to invite Finnish companies here to Tallinn to, to develop their companies, not so much go to Finland. But uh, yeah, Finland is very, very close to mm -hmm. Tallinn and, and we, we do it together. And we, we don't think that it's, uh, it's a Estonian thing, we think it's Central Eastern European. We want to be one of the best in, in Europe. and. Uh, and in our advisory boards there is a Polish accelerator um, uh, manager, there is Finnish Startup Sauna, there is a Latvian Deha, there is a Lithuanian Startup Hire. So you're trying to create a regional Yeah, we, we would like to build a, one big and really strong one in, into the Central Eastern European market. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, I mean, do you think uh, so in like three, five years? We'll see decreasing uh, number of accelerators. I mean, it will like 
the most successful one will remain, but like uh, some noise will like some, some will be shut down. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think it looks like they are competing for the same set of teams who are applying to. to Yes, but today uh, in 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 world or uh, at least in in Europe, but I know more is uh, there is actually demand is much um, more places than uh, accelerators can <coughs> offer. For us, it was also more than 200 applicants, but we mm -hmm. will choose only eight, and there is enough uh, enough uh, very uh, very good teams to to everyone mm -hmm. right now. At least it, it mm -hmm. looks looks to us this way. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll go in a minute. We'll go to your application process. I mean, there is wanted to add just a short remark that there is accelerator launched in December, January in Kiev. It's called East Labs. There is Glove Start in Russia. So they, they keep 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 uh, uh, popping up. And so you mentioned you have more than two hundred applications. Yeah. It's for the first uh, batch of uh, teams, right? Yes. And what does uh, the application process look like? What do you look for uh, when uh, evaluating teams? Uh, yes, basically we are um, choosing teams, as you said. Not so much ideas, not so much um, uh, the prototypes or, or what you have built. But we are looking for a great teams who can really build a global company, and uh, and it will be best if you have some kind of prototype. It's not must, but it will mm -hmm. be good for you. And uh, if the team has worked together, done something else mm -hmm. before, they they know the field, they have some kind of track record in entrepreneurship. It's a plus. It's it's mm -hmm. not a must. But, the, uh, but uh, as long as I see right now, most of the teams who, who will be chosen in one week, uh, they, they have some kind of experience and they are much stronger than first time, first time newcomers. So they are not no, no, no biases, or Excuse me? You are saying the teams are not like first time or um, They have some new to be good. Uh, if they have some kind of experience, it's a plus for them. Mm -hmm. It's not a must that you you have to have. If you are a really good entrepreneur and you really like to do it, you you can do it without experience as well. So okay. So as I, if I understand right, like uh, the first batch, like application already closed. Yes. So, and do you already have plans for the second batch? And yes, so on? we and have a plans for five batches. Five batches. And when will it happen? Uh, yeah. Second one. Second one will be in second half of this year, mm -hmm. and um, applications should be open quite soon. But uh, we will choose them uh, end of summer, mm -hmm. the new ones, and, uh, and it will be uh, in the autumn. Okay. So can you? I'm asking because I wanted to. Uh, to uh, to for you to give some advice or something like after you, like you already been through this first batch so what kind of advice would you give to uh, people out there who are considering applying to the second batch like what are the don'ts and do's um, it will be great if you have done something in this field but you are applying to what what idea you are proposing to accelerate but uh, you need to have something special. So, um, the team should be really good. They should be passionate. They should have energy. They should really want to do it. They need to have ambition to, to conquer the world, uh, make the world a better place for their system. This is, I think, the main thing. But if you understand the business, if you understand how the startups are working, uh, and you should understand it's really, really hard work to do, but if you can do it, there is a, this kind of rule that you should work 10,000 hours usually before you can see any, any bigger success. Mm -hmm. And if you give up before 10,000 hours, then you will never see a success. And you see not, nothing, it's like zero, zero, and then uh, something like that. Uh, not zero, but it will be really, really low in the beginning. If you, it's a new field for you, if you haven't done it before, you, you really need to learn and get the connections, build the network. It mm -hmm. takes time, it's not possible to do it in, in a couple okay. of weeks. So, okay, I got it. Uh, can you tell us a little more? Like what will happen during these 10 or 12 weeks? 
within your program. Um, um, you will get really intensive program. You will get many, many mentors. We have more than what 50 mentors. What would it be already. like uh, uh, lesson, I mean, lecture? Uh, Lectures? Uh, also, also lectures one -on -one. and training, but the mentors will do one-on-one, -on -one, but we will invite uh, really good uh, people who will give the lectures as well, but uh, it's combined with all kind of, uh, all kind of uh, training and, and mentoring that you need to, to build your company. Okay, um, so you're saying that uh, this uh, Wise Guys program is designed to be original, like original theme, not uh, tied to Estonia, but bigger. Yeah, of course. And so then there must be some advantages to doing it in Estonia, in Tallinn, and not say in, I don't know, another country. Uh, we think so, yeah. Estonian startup field is really, really active. Maybe you have heard the uh, Estonian mafia <laughs> is born, this uh, hashtag is born in, in Silicon Valley. And and uh, there is very many very great uh, startups coming uh, out of, from uh, Estonia and in our startup leaders club there is almost 50 startup leaders founders 50 50 mm -hmm. and it's it's growing Estonia is really great place it's not so expensive to be in but uh, there is money mentors and, and other startups who have already experienced it and can help you uh, there is many, many mentors from our Startup Leaders Club who will come also and, and tell how they have done it and, and how they have raised $5 million from US investors and, and so on. I think it's a really great place. Okay, so uh, you are right that uh, the accelerator program is just a launch part, like, like it helps you to start and then you're like, it's up to you to to go to the right direction and like work. No, actually, we, our goal is to help you raise the raise the money after accelerator program as well. We we really actually we are measured against you raising money after the. Program. So it's your like internal metric for success. Yeah. Like how 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 which percentage of the teams measure we, money? We are working that more than half will raise money, not like the first day after the program, mm -hmm. but in. In, in let's say half of a year or three months, half, half of the teams, uh, at least. Please this is the minimum. Mm -hmm. What we want to do, it can be better, but uh, oh, it's it's first batch. Uh, you never know. Yes, but um, we are not doing it this first time. As I mentioned, my partner has done it in the UK many many times already, and he has track record that uh, half of the teams can raise money. What uh, kind of like uh, track record? In UK, I mean, do you have like some big uh, names that uh, our listeners know? Uh, most, uh, you mean company names? Yeah, that who graduated uh, through. Uh, actually, through uh, not so big names. I think I, I can tell the names later. I don't remember them by heart. But usually, the, the companies who come, come into an accelerator and and one year or two year after that. They are not very well known because mm -hmm. they are uh, still, still quite uh, quite new companies. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, in the UK there is really good investors who have already invested in many many times to the startups and they understand this field. Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay, cool. Um, what else? Uh, uh, there is Estonia is just like small small market and obviously. That you're looking for teams that will grow uh, beyond like, regional, and you also mentioned Silicon Valley uh, as a like, possible place to go. Yeah, we Can have elaborate on that. We have uh, decided that we take uh, uh, some of the best teams during the program. It's uh, I think it will be in May. Um, we will take them uh, to Silicon Valley, meet uh, all kind of important persons there and then take them to one big conference and, and very many meetings in, in, mm -hmm. in Valley and you can go and develop your company there as well. Not all of the team members shouldn't go, some of them should stay and develop. <laughs> but keep, keep working. Yeah, but it's also working uh, when you build your network and get the feedback uh, from uh, really great guys there. 
and uh, yeah, uh, the best plants will go. Do you, do you think it's uh, possible for like uh, to attract, uh, say, investors or like, from US being uh, here in Estonia? Yeah, we have seen it. Uh, Estonian, our club members, Crabcat, uh, has risen. They about. moved to Boston, I think. It's, uh, yes, but the development is still here, mm -hmm. and uh, so the mainly sales offices there. Our um, our club member um, uh, Zero Turnaround has raised money from our board, and Erky has raised money from U.S. investors. There's many examples that you can do it, mm -hmm. and um, basically it's possible. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, everything is possible. Not everything is like easy. Like some things are just very hard to do. Yeah, but it's not possible. easy. It's not easy. But uh, as I told you, there is samples that it's done, and, and I'm sure it, we can do it again and again. Okay. Um, I think uh, I asked all the questions I wanted about the program, and if you want to like uh, say something to people watching this and who be applying to next batch, mm -hmm. so take your time. Um, it really depends what kind of uh, company you are trying to build. But if it's internet or models uh, based uh, startup and you, you really want to be a global company, it's one, one reason why Estonian companies are doing quite well because the Estonian market is so small, there is only like 1.3 million people here. It's not possible to earn any, any reasonable money in Estonia. But that's why Estonian companies are uh, from the day one, they, they are targeting uh, US, Asia, European markets and uh, they are more ambitious this way. They, they build the sites right away to in, in very good English and, and try to learn uh, all kinds of customers abroad, not, not here. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to build something like this, uh, this is advice what you really need. And not just advice, you should be careful, you, you can get bad advice somewhere uh, as well. I don't mean accelerators, but if you want to do it alone or just ask your neighbor, I think it's not so good. You, you will really need experienced people who have invested their money and, and uh, advice. We have a, a Amazon, PayPal, Microsoft, who are like uh, official supporter of our program. They will send their people uh, from London to here in Tallinn to, to really give the support. You will get all kind of software from, for example, from Amazon mm -hmm. and then many others, Pipe Drive, uh, Erkley, mm -hmm. um, and so on to develop it. And uh, the advice is the real, real key. Um, what I think and also the, the money is small but it's enough for this three week, three months to, uh, to leave your uh, day job and, and really uh, concentrate to do your startup and uh, if you really really want to do it then I'm very sure you can do it but it's, it's really up to you. Yeah, great advice. Uh, so thank you uh, for, for the interview and uh, see you guys next time you've been watching Profit Show. Bye. Thank you. Bye.